Today is supposed to be 92 degrees, so I have everything pretty closed up. I'm like trying not to run the AC. I don't know why today I'm having such a hard time like waking up. Like it is like 9, 10 right now. I just dropped Harlow off up the street and today might actually be like the last day that I am alone in this house for a very long time. <laughs> um, yesterday, I felt the baby drop a lot lower. I don't know if it's the same today or not. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look in the mirror um, for a little longer and compare it or something. But I also think, so my mucus plug came out yesterday. That is just such a gross like mucus plug. Like that is just, they, they, someone needs to come up with a new name for that. That's just kind of gross. So I think some of that came out yesterday and then I was having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions yesterday. Um, and how you know they're Braxton Hicks and not actual contractions is when you move, you can kind of get rid of them and they're not painful. I didn't try to move to get rid of them because I happened to be walking and stuff like that, but they weren't painful. So I kind of was thinking like at any time like yesterday my water could break or whatnot i'm 38 weeks and two days right now so i don't really know like when this baby is coming so today might very well be my last day to like get some stuff done so i've got my to-do list and my coffee and i'm just trying to like wake up a little bit like i just feel like i'm in a fog right now so um this morning i woke up at like five something and i just felt the baby like full on head down like just kind of kicking the side over here and usually the baby's like full on like sideways like transverse um but they move a lot so the baby like moves like downwards and then sideways a lot so it's not unusual today is the 16th i predicted that i was gonna have this baby on the 17th so that's tomorrow my hospital bag is packed i've already filmed that video that's good. So what we need to do for sure, for sure today is I need to go to the store and um, buy stuff for my nurse hospital, like my little nurse bags. Um, so I'm just gonna put nurse bag shopping. Um, and then I'll come back to that in a minute, but I also would really like to get my closet put away. So organize closet and the fact that my closet is done before this baby is here and the whole bedroom and the bathroom remodel I'm like so freaking excited about like I wanted to start moving all my clothes and stuff in the closet last night but I just had no energy kind of like right now actually <laughs> I feel just like in a fog um so those are my two main things so I guess I also need to not only purchase and shop for my hospital nurse bags, but I need to like construct them and put them together. Um, so I'll put create nurse bags plus basket. Some extras that would just be the cherry on top if I could get to today, which I'll put a few lines down would be to edit a video, edit a YouTube video, edit Monday's YouTube video. YouTube video and it would be really nice to film um okay I'm getting crazy here I'm getting crazy we're just we're just gonna put it down it's probably not gonna happen but it would be great to film a third trimester checklist video so I'm gonna add that just in case And another thing that would be great to do is to film another pregnancy OOTD for Instagram before I don't have this belly anymore. So I'm gonna put that one on here as well. Film pregnancy OOTD. So those last three are kind of like the cherry on top, but let's talk about these nurse bags. So, this is like the longest intro in the world. <laughs> One of my friends is a postpartum nurse and I texted her yesterday and I was like, 
I was watching other videos on YouTube and I saw people preparing these super cute, like thank you bags to the nurses, which in hindsight makes complete and total sense that you would make those like obviously. Um, but I never thought about it before, which I find weird because I'm usually very thoughtful in that arena. Like I love doing things like that for people and that I was brought up that way. So it was weird to me that I like had never thought of it or seen it anywhere. Um, and my last birth, I was planning on giving birth in a birth center and leaving after four hours. So it didn't occur to me, but it would have been good in that situation as well, nonetheless. But um, I asked her, I'm like, so like, do you appreciate when people make these bags for you? Or is it just like one of those, like kind of like, yeah, it was thoughtful, but now I've got to carry this shit home with me kind of a deal. And she was like, she responded so fast. And she was like, I forget exactly what she said. Something to the fact of like, those patients become our favorite patients like immediately. So I was like, okay, I need to do this for sure. Um, and I am blessed with the fact that I get so much skincare and so much makeup and so much like, stuff to care for yourself um sent to me as a youtuber and like influencer or whatever so i kind of got some more information from her and i'll share it with you just in case you're in the same position and you hadn't thought of this she said it's really a great idea to put together eight to ten bags she said usually you'll have two labor and delivery nurses and maybe like four postpartum um, as the shifts kind of go or whatever. And she said, it's really good to like do like eight to 10 personalized little bags. She said, honestly, even if you just buy pizza for the staff, like that is so appreciated. I never even thought about that last time I gave birth to Harlow, that would have been easy to do. I didn't do it. I feel like an a-hole now. Um, so if you were in the labor and delivery room when I delivered Harlow, cause I know one of you actually watches my channel cause you told Nick, um, I'm so sorry that I didn't do that. I feel terrible about that. It was actually kind of the hardest week of my life, but that's really no excuse. I could have literally door dashed some shit and I'm sorry. So she said eight to 10 bags, personal, like not personalized, but like little bags that everyone can take. Cause sometimes the night staff gets a little, little um, bit of the shaft because because everyone picks through the basket. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do eight to 10 like little bags um, and I'll go through what she said they love to have in there in a second. You can also look it up on Pinterest. I'll put some ideas down below for you. Um, and then I'm gonna make a big basket that has like a bunch of stuff that I receive from PR, which would be like energy drinks, protein shakes, um, different things like that. And then random various makeup items and skincare and stuff like that, that I have in my giveaway pile anyway, that hasn't been opened or used. I'll stick it in there so that people can grab, nurses can grab whatever they feel like. And I'm just, it's just occurring to me that not only women are nurses. So I don't know if I have anything for the men, but uh, the personalized pack will be, I mean, I guess it's just going to be geared mostly towards women. I don't know. That's all I've seen. So I'll feel real bad if there's a male nurse. So what she said that they really like to see in there and like love and are so grateful to get um, is like she said she got a claw clip in there one time that she like still uses to this day. Um, chapstick, Starbucks gift cards, hair ties, um, pens, highlighters. Uh, I wish that I had thought about this earlier because I could have been way more organized with what I got because I've been ordering some random things on Timu and I think there'd be some really cute stuff on there like pop sockets and like little things that would be just super fun and cute to put in there that I just don't have time to go get. So today, where am I gonna shop, you ask? I think I'm gonna go to, I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx Home Goods and like Nordstrom Rack-ish. I think that they will have some really cute like little things. I think fun stuff too that doesn't necessarily have to relate to work would be fun to get in there. Like even like a really fun wine opener or little espresso cups. I don't know. I think I'm kind of just gonna like go and see what jumps out at me. And then I need to buy like a basket for the bigger stuff. Um, and yeah, so that is the nurse basket thing. And if you have any ideas or you are a nurse or a doctor, leave in the comments below what you have received in the past that you love or what you would like to receive. I think it'd be really helpful for probably not me today since I'm already gonna <laughs> have this done by the time we're watching it, but for anyone else that is um, pregnant that maybe wants to do something nice for you guys, I think it'd be cool to have it in the comments. So welcome to what will be our dining room. So these are my shoes. Got some shoes over here. None of these boots fit me anymore now that I've had babies. So that's cool. Um, 
I got these from Costco. So if you ever need a very sturdy rack, like this is it. Um, I just actually want to wheel this around when I go shopping, like in Nordstrom Rack and shit. Like just pull this whole thing with me. Needs to be brought out soon too. What do you think? <laughs> this is Nick's closet. How cute. He already got like everything like totally organized. And this isn't like the official like closet reveal video. I'll have to do that for you guys later when everything's done because we are going to add a few more things in here like the countertop. Um, but this is our little um, laundry bin here. And then he's got his little clothing or his little shoe spot and his little hooks. This is so crazy. Like our old closet used to, that was where our old closet's wall was and we both shared this closet and it was very difficult. <laughs> so that's Nick's. Mine is over here. We're gonna do a barn door here. Um, but for now, we did this. I absolutely love the, the gray paint that we did here with the white. It looks really nice. Um, so I'm actually gonna be adding uh, LED lighting at the top. We need to add like another crown molding or something up there, but I'll give a way more detailed like closet reveal when it's all done but this is what we've got going on here it's my um hospital bag <laughs> uh so this is yeah this is it so these this is where the shoes are gonna go i think i'm gonna put a mirror here and do some wallpaper back there focus and then i've got all these drawers for like underwear and stuff um this has a like, jewelry insert and this one does too and it was just really awesome to be able to like design this exactly how I wanted. And I'll go more into depth about that when I give you guys a full tour of like when it's like actually completed. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Classy Closets in San Diego here um, and Danny, especially for like helping like all of this like come to life. They gave me a really great discount to partner with them. And I'm just like so grateful to have this done before the baby comes and just in general, like I've never ever gotten to design my own closet and it's pretty much a dream. So I'm just like over the moon. So thank you guys so much. I'm making myself a breakfast burrito and I just wanted to give a shout out to Tortilla Fresca. These are like the best flour tortillas. They're not cooked. So you have to like cook them on the stove, but like the flavor of these does not compare to anything else you get at the store. Like those are like such a thing of the past for me and they're so disgusting. Like these are delicious. I highly recommend getting these. They're like by the hummus and the like fresh refrigerated salsa, like at Vons and grocery stores and whatnot. I got these on Walmart on Instacart um, and they're a lot cheaper than Vons actually. So You know what I also need to do that I need to add to my list is I have a post that I need to post before I pop this baby out. I just decided that I need a rug in here. So I just, I'm gonna measure just to see like, like how big it should be. It needs to really be like seven feet, four by seven. That's like not a normal size. I don't know how that's gonna work. We gotta get out of here. Oh, I need to fill up my gas tank and I'm so not looking forward to it. I have a F-150 and it takes a lot of gas. <clears throat> okay, so I'm liking this one for my bathroom or my closet rather. This one's actually really cute for Harley's room. That might work. I don't know about this wood shade. It is so cute. These are freaking cool. I have nowhere to put one of these though. How awesome. All right, so I got three mirrors and then I got these bags for the nurses. I know it's yeah. not even September yet, but these are too cute and they can reuse them. Some tissue paper, a candle, and these for the new closet. All right, so I checked out, forgot to look at rugs, looking at rugs. I can't tell what this one looks like. Does it have a design or not? There's no picture. And this one is just white. 
with that kind of design. I don't know. So these are 5.2 by 7. That won't work. I just don't know what to get. Okay, not doing so hot here. We got some hair stuff all spilled up. And then some bombs. But I think I'm going to have to get everything else online. I didn't film a whole lot in TJ Maxx. It was kind of like really dry up in there. Like there was nothing good, hardly. I did I did get some stuff, but most of this is for me. Um, so I'll show you what I got. Do you know those like people when you're shopping, like not to just bitch and complain right now, but like no one else is here for me to bitch about to this. So I have to bitch about it to you and my hormones. And like, I just need to tell somebody. So thank you for being that somebody for me. I appreciate it. Um, you know those people that are in stores and they're just completely aloof? I ta I've talked about this before. Like, j it's such a pet peeve of mine. Like, I am like standing behind multiple people today, not just one, in the main aisle of like Home Goods or TJ Maxx with like giant mirrors and I'm an asshole that's like trying to get out of the store with all this stuff, I get it. But, and I'm just standing behind them and they just have no clue that there's anyone else in existence and they just stop in the middle of the aisle look at their phone and i'm like excuse me i'm like trying to like be as nice as i possibly can because like these are like older ladies like older than me <laughs> and i'm like is there any way i could get by you and then they just are like yeah and like just have no absolutely no idea that anyone exists in the store besides themselves like i can't imagine acting that way or being so like unaware of my surroundings and like one lady she had to have seen me i was trying to leave the store and i like get out of the checkout line and i'm like behind her and i've got like three giant mirrors on my cart and i'm just kind of behind her and she cuts me off so like she saw me come behind her and then she just stops at the edge of this like thing to like look at something and i was just like okay don't fucking kick this old lady's ass <sighs> And I'm like, can I please get around you? Like as nice as I could, I was like, can I please get around you? Like, yeah, that's her response. I was just like, I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I just stopped and blocked the whole walkway. Silly me. Anyways, I digress. So I got this bin. This is the like basket that I'm gonna put like, like, snacks in drinks in makeup that sort of thing that'll be kind of a grab bag at the like nurse's lounge um i read on pinterest you want to put all the snacks and stuff like that in there and have them put it there instead of in your room so that they don't feel weird coming in like picking through a basket to pick what they want you know what i mean they don't want to disturb you they should be able to get to this whenever they want so um let's start with i got a couple things for um harlow from the baby um so i got these little people barbie things i don't know it's like supposed to be like a barbie house this one was actually on sale um so i got these little guys harlow like loves like little tiny trinkets and like little dolls like i really should her the lady up the street who babysits her um she like puts them out on the table for harlow so when harlow gets there it's like almost like a little treasure hunt for her and she like walks around so i might um do that at some point when i open these i was gonna say today but i'm not opening these today so i'm gonna wrap these up and these will be from the baby to harlow but i thought that these were really cute um and i know that like the little people thing is like a big it's a big thing there's lots of like little people stuff for sale like on facebook marketplace and stuff so they'll be able to fit into a lot of stuff I showed you guys what I had in my cart for the hair stuff, so I won't really go over that again in the lip gloss. Um, I did find some stuff for myself, which wasn't really on the agenda, but I desperate, desperately need these things. So I desperately need underwear. So I bought myself this pack of Juicy Couture. Um, I thought that these just like looked super, super comfortable for right now and postpartum. So I grabbed those. These also look also great period underwear. Nick says that when he sees me in underwear like this, he knows not to even like try anything because they're my period underwear. And I was like, so who decided that you <laughs> sometimes a bitch just wants to be comfortable. But yeah, I got these in there. The brand was Dan skin and I don't know why that sounds familiar to me, but it's been around, I guess it's kind of a pricier brand. So this whole pack was like 42 bucks. I got it for 14.99. So they're just like really soft. 
And then this is in size large. I really needed some no-show thongs. I've been waiting for Victoria's Secret to go on a little sale. It's been a while that I've stocked up, so I really needed some new underwear. Got those, and then this was so soft. This is a Dan skin, like active dress. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They've become very popular. It's got like the little shorts and everything and the built-in bra. Um, so yeah, this even has like a cell phone holder in here, which is really good. So good for like the wild animal park, life, whatever. This is the brand Dan Skin again. Normally 48 bucks, I got it for 20. Um, this is like the softest thing and this is a small. So I think they run um, a little larger, which is kind of cool. I got some books. I do have a baby shower to go to, so I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to include in that package, but um, I got some Halloween books. These are really super cute. And this guy, the books were like so cheap. It was like $3.99. I'm like, this is the cutest. And then My First Animals, all of these like pop up, like, like the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. I thought this was super cute. So super boring, super mom. Um, I got stone tile and laminate floor cleaner. Um, we've got uh, stone by the front door here and it's got a couple like stains on it so hopefully this will work I grabbed that because I'm adulting so hard today and then other than that I didn't do too hot for the nurses stuff to be honest but I did get some candles that I think are really cute I'm gonna have to buy a couple more or just put something different in some of the other bags but these are really cute this little guy and I got a few of these. So I got like five total candles and then the top is like little um, ghosts. They're either gonna be really annoyed that I'm already like celebrating Halloween or think it's great. But either way, it's free stuff for them. So hopefully they like it anyway. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. And then I showed you the stuff that I got from um, Home Goods, and I think I showed you the bags, like I, could, I couldn't I could not get these bags. Like how freaking cute are these? So I had to. Um, so yes, I still need to buy a few more things. So I'll probably pop in some clips when I do actually end up getting it. I'm hope, hopefully getting everything from Amazon like next day. Um, so I will pop in a clip here of like assembling everything and then, cause it needs to be in this video. <laughs> it can't be in a different one. There may not be another one from today or tomorrow for a while. We don't know. And I did get that mirror. I'm gonna put it in my bath, or my, I keep saying bathroom, I mean closet, and then the rug. So I will show you putting those in there, but I have to get something to eat. I'm absolutely starving. My cat is like licking his freaking crotch over here on the couch. Joseph. I'll show you guys everything after it's like in a little pile. So here is what I did. I made these like little guys on Canva and I'm covering the baby's name because I don't know if I've told anyone yet. <laughs> um, and then I've got a couple scrunchies, a claw clip, cute little eraser, some really cute little mechanical pencils. These are pens. And then I got some funny like, um, little nurse pens like this one says nurses always give their best shot um they're just kind of silly and then a little candle and some gloss or gloss i mean chapstick and then um i got these little cute things and i was planning on putting some gum in here and just some like random like stuff that you might want when you're like on shift for a long period of time but all i managed to get and purchase in time is some bobby pins some hair ties some little rubber bands and some placards, um, which are these little tooth things. So I'm gonna put all of this in these cute little bags with some tissue paper. And then I'm filling up that, like I told you guys, with some tissue paper and some snacks and I was gonna do some gift cards and stuff like that, but I'm not really thinking I'm gonna have time to go to the store now. So um, we'll make that as good as I can and then that's, that's what we're doing.
right, so I imagined this looking a little more aesthetically pleasing, but I did let my husband do the padding of the bottom. Um, so, you know. <laughs> um, so I got makeup and all this good stuff over here. We've got some good stuff, some protein shakes, protein bars that we're gonna take this to. Um, we're just gonna finish getting together the rest of the stuff now, and that's it. This is very lightweight, so don't worry. <laughs> it's literally so light. I can almost pick it up with one arm. Um, okay, so this is five feet wide. I don't know if this is gonna work, but they didn't have anything smaller that was still long enough. So we're gonna try it. I do actually wanna go back to Home Goods tomorrow because there is a mirror that I really wanna get. Um, so for this, like, I'm, you can probably see it in the hallway. This mirror has to go. This is like one of Nick's bachelor mirrors and it is so ugly, sorry babe. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it is a really cute rug though. I don't know though. I think it's like, if it was just like a little shorter on the sides, it wouldn't look so awkward that, it was like a, that there was like a foot there and a foot there at the end that like, you know what I mean? Like it would look a little more proportionate. Obviously it's kind of like wrinkled right now, but I think personally, I think the, ed, the fact that there's like a foot here, and a foot at the other end <laughs> makes it look a little awkward. <sighs> it's a little big, just like the rug. Uh, are we striking out all day today? Breaking news. It's three o'clock. I have two hours before I have to go pick up Harlow. So let's get all my shit into this closet. The breaking news was that more of my, um, the word that I don't want to say because it's gross, um, just came out. So I think, um, the, however, uh, online it says that basically it could happen. I mean, it means you could go into labor within like days or weeks. So it basically means nothing except that it's like coming in the next couple weeks at least. But we already knew that. So, um, let's start moving some stuff in here. Um, the goal, just like with my bathroom, is to kind of just get everything in here, get the shoes on the racks. And then I'll move my jewelry in on a different day when this countertop is finished, but we'll just get everything in here, see how it goes. And then I can kind of move things around and organize later once I kind of live in it for a minute and kind of figure out where I want to put things. <clears throat> I've been on my feet for way too long today. <laughs> I am going to take a break. I've got an hour before I have to go pick up Harlow. I'm gonna go sit on my butt and watch TV. Um, my feet are killing me. I'm gonna drink some water and I need to order that stuff from Amazon that you already saw. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> By the time you see this, I might have a baby in my arms. We'll see, um, but thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel out and we will see you in the next one. Bye.